The next question is from Akil Hussain from Lahore, Pakistan. Is court marriage legal or illegal according to the Islamic point of view? Is court marriage legal or illegal according to Islamic point of view? Depending upon which court you are talking about. If it is an Islamic court, it's legal. If it is not Islamic court, it is not legal in Islamic Sharia. That is the reason it is very important that most of the Muslims are not aware about the court marriages. If you are living in an Islamic country which is ruled or governed by the Islamic Sharia, then no problem in marrying in the court of that country. For example, it may be Malaysia, it has Islamic Sharia law, you can follow it or it can be Saudi Arabia or it can be any of the Gulf countries where Islam is followed, no problem at all. There are three types of countries. One in which Islam is the state religion and they follow the Sharia like the countries I mentioned. Second, can be a non-Muslim country but that non-Muslim country gives you a permission to follow the personal law of each particular citizen. For example, India. In India, every citizen of India can follow his or her law as far as religion is concerned. As far as religious laws are concerned, talking about civil law. The criminal law is common. India is a secular country, it's a democratic country. The citizen of India, irrespective whether he is a Muslim or a Christian or a Hindu, he can follow his personal law. It's called as the personal law as far as civil rights are concerned. In the criminal law, you have common. Then you have a third type of country, like most of the Western countries, USA, Canada, UK. There, an individual citizen is not allowed to follow the personal law based on the religion. He has to follow the common civil law. As I mentioned earlier, if it's Islamic country following the Islamic Sharia, doing a court marriage is permissible. It follows the Islamic Sharia, no problem at all. Or you do nikah at home and you register as per the laws of the country. In countries like India, where an individual citizen is allowed to follow his own personal law as far as religion is concerned. Like in India, we have a Muslim personal law. In this case, it is very important that a Muslim should not do court marriage. If you do court marriage in India, the rule of the Indian government common law will apply, not the Islamic law. So in India, a Muslim should do nikah as per the Sharia and then register his nikah with the Indian government saying that these two people, man and woman, they have been and wife. But if you go and do a marriage in the civil court of India, then the law of Indian court will apply. Then that person cannot have more than one wife. If the person dies, the inheritance would be according to the Indian law, not according to the law of the Sharia. Everything, marriage, divorce, inheritance, all the personal law would be according to the court, to the Indian government. So for a Muslim in a non-Muslim country to do a court marriage is haram in Islam. Especially if you are living in a country like India, which permits you to have a personal law. In this case, if you go out of the way and do a court marriage, it's totally haram. It's as good as kufr because you're rejecting the law of Islam which the country has given you permission to follow the law of Quran and the Sahih Hadith and you're following the law of that country in civil matters is totally wrong. As far as living in the country where the personal law is not allowed to be followed, that place also is better you do nikah even though the Islamic Sharia law you will not be able to follow, better do a nikah as per the Islamic Sharia and then you can maybe register it or tell to the government that you husband and wife that is sufficient. So in Islamic country where Islamic law is followed, marrying in court is permissible but in a non-Muslim country, court marriage is prohibited. Hope that answers the question.